swimming pool. Come on now, you could have left the pool. We're elevating the outdoor living. I was out here for my walk. I do like these little nature walks every other day. I had to turn around and go back and get the camera because the idea hit me of what I wanted to talk about. And what I want to talk about is being a creative. And the ones who are, you are, and the ones who are not, I sort of want to motivate you and give you permission to create. I think a lot of us, and pretty much most of us, are creatives. We are just told early on that we got to get a job being a firefighter, or we got to get a job being a police officer, or we gotta go to school to become this and become that. And a lot of times it really doesn't align with who we are. Now granted, I'm not saying you don't pay the bills. We all gotta go to work, pay the bills. But in the meantime, you can't stop creating. I got a friend, uh, Cody Weiner, he has a YouTube page and his job, he motivates uh, creators all across the world. If you're a landscape designer or architect, or any other thing, you are still creative. And one of the things I learned is, especially about designing, I really necessarily do not follow budgets. Hear me out for a second. If you give me a number and I follow that number, nine times out of 10, what you want is never within that number. Nine times out of 10. You've all gone to the car dealership and say, so you wanna pay this amount of money, and next thing you know, we turn on, we paying more money because we didn't know that the sunroof was there. We didn't know that they had the heated seats or the air conditioning inside the glove box. And those are the things that we didn't know we wanted, but when we saw it, we wanted it. And it's the same thing with designing. A lot of outdoor living designs I see is sort of an order taking industry where the guys show up and a client says, well, I got $10,000 and they put a square rectangle, $10,000 patio in the back. They did not stop to ask the questions to figure out if they wanted something else more than just a square patio. They didn't stop to say, hey, how many times you're gonna be out on the patio? How often are your friends and family gonna come over? Do you grill? Are you left-handed? Are you right-handed? Which way is the wind blowing? Which views do you wanna see? Do you get a lot of sound and things from the street? There's a lot more questions to ask and when you start creating and you have a creative mind, which I think we all do, you'll understand and start asking the right questions to produce the outdoor living and the project that you should be producing because you're doing them an injustice if you don't produce something that's amazing for them. I'm out in Homer Glen today doing a site survey. This is gonna be a really neat job. There's a lot going on. What I'm working with is, is a log cabin house. Homeowners want to have a modern look to the design. So not only is it old world log cabin, but they want a modern approach to it. A lot of the inside is pretty much already done. So I mean, I've done a lot of research. You can't really find it matched together. So I don't know, this may be the first of its kind to, to kind of tie in modern and log cabin at the same time. So wish me luck. This is gonna be a really neat project. Uh, I'll let you guys see uh, some photos and stuff like that. I'm just, today I'm doing a site analysis, getting all the measurements that I need. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll take it back, plot it on the plot plan, then I'll come back and, and finish off the elevations. Backyard is a completely wooded lot. Uh, there looks like there was an old swimming pool there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip all that decking out and we're gonna put a brand new pool in. You know if I touch it, it's pretty much gonna be a negative edge pointing to the to the house itself. They're, they're going to turn it into sort of like an Airbnb that they rent for like parties and things like that on the weekend. So it's more like a weekly rental or sort of like a vacation uh, destination because of this huge wooded lot, the swimming pool, the outdoor living space is gonna be a very unique place to live. So I'm gonna design it also for wintertime use too, so they can use the outdoor living with the fireplace and things like that on the outside uh, during the wintertime. Mm -hmm. 